Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing a what's in my memory box. It's not really like the memory boxes that you buy, but I have these little like storage bins on this thing in my room and whenever I have something that I want to keep a memory of, I just throw it into the bin. So I'm going to show you what's in there. So the first thing is a yearbook. Um, I'm not going to show it because it's got the name of the elementary school that I went to, but I keep that because I lost all my other ones. And then I have this painting that I did um, my junior year of high school. And you know, I'm no artist, but... Um, I just kept it because I loved that class and yeah so it just looks like that and then I have a bunch of notes um you've probably seen my best friend Caitlin on my channel and in high school she used to write me notes and I'm not gonna read them because we were probably talking shit about someone typical and then I have some like birthday cards. Um, I have this one and it says granddaughter you deserve to be way up there at the top of the tree. Merry Christmas. Love your mammal. Margie. So I kept that one. Then this one was says daughter you sure have grown up. You almost never pull your dress up over your head in public anymore. At least not that we know of anyway. Love, Mom and Dad. Happy Valentine's Day. And, you know, it's pretty sad when you're so single that your parents have to get you a Valentine's Day gift. But I'm not complaining. And then the last card says, Happy Birthday. You are so easy to shop for. Happy Birthday. So, yeah. Then, this is a thank you card from one of my friends from going to her, I think it was her Sweet 16. But, I'm not going to take it out because it has, like, little confetti things. So, and it's a mess. And then, I have this little Happy Holidays thing. Um, my grandma had given this to me on Christmas and it had money in it, but it has a little note on the inside and it says, Taryn, I hope you will have a wonderful Christmas. I love you. You should come and see your granny sometime. She's getting old. And I just thought that that was cute. Then I have a report card and I kept it because I had gotten all A's and B's and I was so proud of myself and you know what I'm sure people get that like every day but I was not that person and then I have my hat from when I went to Dick's last resort and this is what it said so yeah and then I have like a ton of tickets and um, I guess I'll show you those. Well, and I have a phone case and it is signed by Jared Polson, who, if you don't know who that is, he used to play basketball for the University of Kentucky and I was like literally obsessed because he was so high and I met him twice and here's one of the tickets from when I met him. So, yeah. And then here is a baseball ticket from when I went to the baseball game, the Indianapolis Indians. Um, here's a ticket when I went to one of my high school basketball games. Um, this is when I saw Jason Aldean in concert. Here's a movie ticket when I went and saw Southpaw, um, The Longest Ride, love this movie, I've seen it like a hundred times, Paranormal Activity, 
American Sniper, love this movie also. Bradley Cooper is so freaking hot in that movie. This one is like faded off, but it was If I Stay. This one was Tyler Perry's Amadea Christmas or whatever. Um, this one was The Lucky One. And funny story behind this. I was talking to this guy at the time and we were in like, I want to say like freshman or maybe even younger, but we went and saw it with my mom. Um, this is for The Fault in Our Stars. I saw this in theaters like three times. Uh, this is from the Jake Miller concert. And we went to Detroit to see him and I was actually in like one of his um, like his blogs kind of when he documents like every concert. So I was in that and then he had followed me on Twitter and Instagram which was cool. Here's a ticket to 22 Jump Street. Um, Spring Breakers. Funny story behind this one, but I'm not really going to tell it. Um, Ouija. And then here's a Valentine's Day card. And I kept this because a girl gave it to me, but like as a friend. And I kept it because um, she told me that the first day of class when she saw me, she thought that I was going to be such a bitch. But we ended up being friends. Here's a ticket to um, Big Blue Madness. If you don't know what that is in Kentucky, it's for like UK basketball. Um, here's a ticket to see Vacation. I didn't really like that movie, but there was a funny story behind it. Me and my boyfriend at the time had went to see it and my 15 year old sister and my 15 year old cousin had snuck in and we had no idea. Here's a ticket to see the Dent Schoolhouse. I vlogged when I went to this last year. And we go pretty much every year, so. Jurassic World. Ride Along. Um, the Gallows. This was the first date that I went on with my first serious boyfriend. And I didn't keep it for that reason, but... Um, a Hunger Games, and then a ticket to the Newport Aquarium, and then the last thing is my aunt went to India, and she got me these pins, and they were like handmade. They're so pretty. I've never used them to like write, but yeah, they're just so pretty. And then, I know this is super random, but a pencil, and I kept this because it's from the James Whitcomb Riley Museum, and this place is in Indianapolis, and it's like a couple streets over from my aunt's house, so we went there one summer and took like a tour of the house, and that's where I got it. So... That is everything that was in my memory box. Um, I do have another one. If you want to see a part two, give this a thumbs up. And leave me a comment below telling me one of your favorite memories. So, thanks for watching. Bye!